So, good morning. Third BCom computer applications semester 6. We two papers on day web technologies. Sorry, we will get two papers on day. First one is e commerce and second one is uh, management information systems MIS. So, today we start with MIS syllabus, MIS management information systems syllabus. What is the contents of the management information system? Uh, and we start with uh, MIS syllabus. So, MIS is the it is uh, 5 hours per week and 4 plus 2 that is uh, 5 credit course and uh, another paper is e-commerce. So, this is the syllabus. So, this is the syllabus of your course. That is management information systems MIS. So, the workload is 5 periods per week and the maximum marks are 80 plus 20, 80 for theory and 20 for practical and the duration of the examination is 3 hours. So, the syllabus is divided into 5 units. First unit, first unit contains uh, an overview of Management Information Systems MIS. So, concept and definition of MIS, MIS versus data processing, MIS and addition support systems, MIS and information resource management, end user computing, MIS structure, managerial view of MIS, functions of MIS, management role, levels of management. So, this is the uh, syllabus of uh, first unit. So, we start with uh, uh, syllabus. So, what are the what are the concept what is the concept of uh, and the definition of MIS. So, the MIS or management information system is an idea which is associated with man, machine, um, marketing and methods for collecting information from the internal and external sources. So, generally MIS um, process is generally applied in all areas like banking information systems, <coughs> bank information systems or bankings and uh, railway information systems and uh, educational information systems like that. So, generally MIS can be applicable in various areas like uh, banking systems and uh, railway information systems, educational information systems like that. Management information system is an integrated set of components or 
entities that inter interact with uh, to achieve a particular function object or code. Generally, MIS techniques or MIS uh, procedures or process are applicable to uh, applicable by organizations and uh, applicable by top level managers to achieve some goals to achieve some goals and uh, some um, objectives and some functions. Therefore, it is a computer based system that provides information for decision making on planning, organization and controlling the operation of the subsystems of the firm and provides a, a synergetic organization. Generally, MIS is used by top level managers and uh, uh, all the organizations and all the companies, MNCs. Uh, uh, by various organizations and by, uh, by various managers, top level managers and top level management to take appropriate decisions, to take appropriate decisions and to take appropriate uh, um, appropriate decisions on the organization, to run the organization smoothly. The component of an information system includes hardware used for input output process storage of data software for user processing data and also instruct the bag. So, generally uh, MS uh, is used along with uh, a PC or a computer systems, computer based systems which includes also some softwares, hardwares and uh, databases and other applications and other applications like that to take appropriate decisions timely. Generally, there are various uh, driving factors of management information systems. For, uh, for example, technological disrup uh, disruptions in all sectors make modern managers. So, MS is the main key role. Main key role used as a main. Uh, it is uh, used by all the management, top level management. And MS also includes uh, some information. It gives some information. And MS is generally it is a system. Not a, uh, it is like a computer based system or a application or software. Generally, describe, uh, it is used to describe some set of elements jointly together for a common object too. So, uh, similarly information MS contains uh, different types of information or uh, some set of information or uh, data. Data must be distinguished from information and the dist uh, distinction is clear and important for uh, present purposes. So, MS contains only data and generally data is captured or generally data is gathered from information only. So, information consists of some data that has been uh, retrieved, processed or otherwise used for information or inter interference purpose. Similarly, management can thus be defined as the Planned. Now, MS also contains some planning. MS also contains planning, uh, controls, and uh, implementation of process and activities that are uh, done in uh, every company uh, to describe about uh, various products by managers like that. So, there is general, there generally MS or management, generally management uh, take appropriate additions and setting some strategies or goals to achieve some results and uh, to achieve some, uh, some results. So, uh, and uh, similarly, all the many uh, companies and uh, all the, all these things, all these MNCs or companies have MS as a department, a separate department. And MS is uh, work, uh, uh, it is involved in all the uh, crucial decisions and MS is mainly used by management and top level managers only to take appropriate decisions. So, what is the exact definition of MIS? MS is the combination of business, information system and technology. So, MS contains both uh, total business, uh, entire business and uh, MIS department or MIS uh, department, it is it contains all the top level managers and computer science or computer applications department to take appropriate additions and MS also uses the information systems and technology as a tool. MS is also involved in or also uses information technology as a tool to take the 
to process the data information so ms can be defined as a formal method of collecting timely information in a presentable form in order to facilitate effective decision making and implementations so ms is mainly the role of ms is mainly to collect uh, data information from various uh, sources and process the data information and uh, present the results or give some results or uh, present some results appropriate results required by the uh, top level managers so in order to carry out operations for the purpose of achieving the organization goal ms is a system designed to provide selected decision oriented information so ms contains many other uh, parts and components like uh, planning like planning performance and uh, it sections and others also so uh, what is the definition exact definition of ms a marketing a management information system or a marketing consists of people equipment and procedures to gather sort analyze evaluate and distribute the needed timely and accurate information to making uh, decision appropriate decision so what is the exact definition of uh, ms ms consists of generally ms consists of people equipment and uh, procedures together and sort analyze evaluate and uh, distribute the needed timely and accurate information to take the appropriate decisions so another definition of ms research in the information system field examines more than the technology system or just the social movement social system or even the two side by the side so these are the different different uh, definitions different diff- definitions for ms so what is the purpose of using ms in the market or what is the purpose of uh, using ms in the business so information processing is a major social activity a significant part of an individuals working and personal time is spent in reco- recording searching for and absorbing information as much as 80% of a typical executives time is spent on processing and communicating information so the system provides information on past present and project features and on relevant events inside and outside another important purpose of uh, information management is the is that it is needed by all business organizations because of increased complexity and rate of change in today's business environment for example marketing manager needs information about sales performance trends financial manager needs information on te- returns production manager needs information and analyzing uh, like that so management information system concept is vital to effective computer in business for two major reasons first one is it serves as a system framework second one is it emphasizes the management oriented so what are the next is what are the advantages what are the advantages of using ms system in businesses over businesses so why we require ms what are the applications or uh, advantages of uh, ms first one is management information system helps the managers to plan and control decisions so ms is a ms is mainly used what are the advantages of ms using ms first one is ms helps the managers to plan and control decisions so the first uh, concept of ms is uh, planning various uh, strategies or planning various uh, to con- and control various uh, operations like costing funds and like that second one is facilitates planning ms improves the quality of plans by providing relevant information for sound decision making due to increase in size and complexity of organization managers have lost personal contact with operations third one is minimize information overload ms changes the larger amount of data into summarized form and uh, thereby avoids the confusion with uh, frequently errors when managers so generally ms 
have various uh, data information in numerical form in numerical form so that the decisions can be taken by managers appropriately or timely fourth one is bring coordination mis facilitate interaction of specialized activities by keeping each department aware of the problem and their requirements so fifth one is make control easier by using mis you can control the various things like costing and uh, and other uh, purchases and other uh, things easily so mis serves as a link between managerial planning and control